Congress has done it once again. They've kicked the proverbial can down the road, passing a 45-day funding bill to keep the government running. Now, the deadline for getting spending bills passed is November 17th. Joining us this morning, the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. Good morning. You've had a heck of a week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is a lot to get to with you. I want to start, though, on the news this morning from Congressman Matt Gates, who says he's going to uh, seek a motion to vacate. He's going to try to oust you as Speaker of the House. Well, that, that's nothing new. He's tried to do that from the moment I ran for office. Look. Well, this time he says he's going to keep going. May not get there before the 15th ballot, but it took 15 for Kevin McCarthy. He uh, says he's coming for you. Can you survive? Yes, I'll survive. You know, this is personal with Matt. Matt voted against the most conservative ability to um, protect our border, secure our border. He's more interested in securing TV interviews than doing something. He wanted to push us into a shutdown, even threatening his own district with all the military people there who would not be paid only because he wants to take this motion. So be it, bring it on, let's get over with it, and let's start governing. If he's upset because he tried to push us in a shutdown and I made sure government didn't shut down, then let's have that fight. You need 218 votes to vacate. Has Hakeem Jeffries, the Democratic leader, said that he will? No. He hasn't no said what? He hasn't said anything about what he's going to do. Look, Look will he, Democrat, Democrats could cross over and follow Gates's uh, lead on this. Yeah, he, he, look, Gates is trying to work with Democrats. He's reached out to Swalwell, to AOC and others. But if that's the way we're going to govern, I don't think America is going to be successful. Look, at the end of the day, think of everything we've been able to accomplish so far. Parents' Bill of Rights. We passed the most conservative bill to protect our border, make America energy independent. We've been able to cut $2 trillion in the debt ceiling, get work requirements back in. The hard part we have right now is yeah. the Senate has not passed one appropriation bill. Each body's supposed to pass 12. We've passed more than 70% of the discretionary spending already. But I thought it was no appropriate. Of surviving in the Senate and making it into law. Well, you said and that, we you said that same thing when we, when we stopped the D.C. from decriminalizing everything. You said the same thing when we said we we're going to stop the pandemic. I don't think pandemic. I ever talked about those things, Well, no, uh, you and you. The, many but, of the press would do think, why pass it because the Senate won't take it up and won't sign it? Most of the, in the press probably thought we would have shut down yesterday, too. But no, we did, did not. Were you confident we wouldn't shut down? I was confident I could get something on the floor to make sure the option that we would not. But that you weren't our sure military, it was going to pass. Well, well, I wasn't sure it was going to pass. You want to know why? Because the Democrats tried to do everything they can not to let it pass. They did Democrats dilatory. Democrats were the ones who voted did you, for this did you in a did larger you watch number it? than Republicans to, to keep the continuing resolution alive. Did you watch Nine, the floor yesterday? Oh, yes. Okay, 90 the, the, Republicans voted against it. One okay, so Democrat let's walk, let's walk through it. what actually happened. First of all, the Democrats stood up and did dilatory actions, asked to adjourn. So was that supporting to adjourn? Then they used the magic minute. They went as far as pulling the fire alarm, not to try to get the bill to come up. Look, That's Democrats general, stick together, government. but they did not want the bill. They did not, they, they were willing to let government shut down for our military not to be paid. No, I wasn't. We are going to mm -hmm. make sure we keep it open while we finish the job we're supposed to do. You got 45 days. That's right. So, well, technically 47, but. <laughs> okay. Senator Cornyn said of you last night, you pulled a rabbit out of the hat a couple of times. I mean, he's acknowledging this was tough. Uh, are we going to be staring down another shutdown? November well, it all 17? comes to the Senate. The Senate hasn't done one thing. But in the House, are we going to be facing another shutdown November 17th? No, because the House is doing their work. We've already done more than 70 percent of it. So compare this to the Senate. The Senate hasn't passed one bill. The Senate didn't pass anything about the shutdown. The Senate hasn't passed anything about securing the border. The Senate hasn't passed anything about the $100 a barrel. The House hasn't passed anything about the border that could actually become yes, law. Yes, we have. No. Not that could become law. Be that's your opinion. The House is its own body. The Senate is its own body. We're not going to surrender to the Senate. We pass what the American people want. Mm -hmm. I will tell you each and every day, and don't take my word for it, you're going to have the governor of New York on it who told yeah. people to go somewhere else. The New York City mayor literally says will it's destroying a, a city. No, let me Are answer, you let me answer your question since you said we wouldn't do something. Do you know the governor of Massachusetts has declared a state of emergency? This is one of the number one crises as far Absolutely. from the board as you can see. This is killing Americans every single day. There was no border funding day. in the continuing resolution that passed last night, but let me ask well, you no, about Well, no, but that's not fair to just say that. Let's understand. Well, there wasn't. 
Okay, well, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's educate the viewers why there wasn't. Because the day before, there was. But Matt Gates and others yeah. de denied that and voted no. So we could have had border security. Okay. I went all the way through everything we could yeah. to the last moment. And you know what? We're going okay. to be able to win that. When will you be able to bring a vote? on Ukraine aid. The White House says that you have, are going to do this quickly. Look, the priority for me is America and our borders. Now, I support um, being able to make sure Ukraine has the weapons that they need, mm -hmm. but I fully support the border first. So we've got to find a way that we can do this together. What do you mean the border first? Because the White House briefed Congress that 45 days, they don't have enough money. They have more than they have more than three. It. They have more than three billion dollars right now mm -hmm. to be able to help them get through it. If they have some challenge, we can sit down and we can talk about that. But the American border matters. And more people more Americans are dying on our border than Americans are dying in Ukraine. So you are explicitly right now linking any Ukraine aid vote to a border bill. It won't I be a standalone Ukraine. I'm telling you that the American border matters, and that is our priority to make sure we secure that. So that has to I'm move first. I'm going to make sure that the weapons are provided for Ukraine, but they're not going to get some big package if the a border is not secure. But you haven't figured out yet the vehicle through which to move that Ukraine aid or a date by which to do it. We will work with or people border. in need, but the one thing the White House has to understand, they better be prepared to secure American border. What does matters. that mean specifically? What are you looking for there? Well. The, the bill you think that won't go anywhere could easily do it, HR2. Remain in Mexico, finish the wall. Uh, you've got to change asylum to be able to secure this border. That is the bill, the border bill that you want passed. And yes. you are now, not it sounds like attaching not that it to I, Not that I want it passed. It is passed, and the Senate has done nothing. So let's see where the You just Senate said you go. wanted border first. So you're not talking about holding a new vote in the House on the border. I'm trying to clarify what you're okay, talking so, about here. Okay, so, okay, not, not to be, but how it works is the House passes a bill, the Senate passes a bill, and you go to conference. The House has already done their job. Yeah. The Senate, and we've done this in a probes. The Senate has done nothing. So what I am saying is, when you saw government funding, there is a need for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I support being able to provide the weapons to Ukraine, yep. but America comes first. Okay, so you're not sequencing the bills, or wasn't, weren't meaning to suggest that in yes. your comments earlier, right? Yes. Okay, want to make sure I understood that. Um, how much harder did your job get when Donald Trump came out and said that Republicans should shut down if they don't get everything they need? And, well, and we, are you going to endorse him explicitly? Look, I think I think President Trump's going to be our nominee and President Trump's going to win because President Trump's policies made America stronger. We didn't have inflation. We had a secure border. Are you endorsing we did, him now? We didn't have a $100 barrel oil. Um, so what I totally find is the president is going to be our nominee. The president is going to win re-election President Trump for the basis that we want to make America stronger. And the other thing, too, is look what's happening in foreign policy today. You've got five American embassies that had to be evacuated. You've got this new axis of power growing against. You've got uh, a challenge when you, our own allies are now turning towards China. Mm -hmm. It's a lack of leadership, not just in foreign policy, within our border and everywhere else. This president has been in elected office for 50 years. Do you know he has spent more dinners with Hunter Biden's business associates I than he has visiting that. the border? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't you think that's important then? One time in 50 years. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people will die today from fentanyl coming across our border? It's a scourge. It's the equivalent of an airliner crashing every single day in America, mm -hmm. and they refuse to even visit it or do something about it. So we are going to make sure this border becomes secure. We will watch for what that means legislatively. Speaker, thank you very much. Thank for you. For your time today.